Ugh. So full of Italian food right now. Uh, wait, that's not the intro I want to use. What I should say is, Heaven or Hell, Duel 2, let's rock. Because this is... Here, I have to get my reference back up. Um, this is, in fact, Duel 2, two blah, 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 for doing this. And, uh, this is, in fact, Duel 2, technically. So we're going to be working on her hands this time around. Um, I don't know how much work they're actually going to need, but um, I do want them to look fairly okay. Like, not hot doggy, not, not too thin, not too thick. Um... Because they're in a very delicate pose. Does anyone guess what the... I mean, I'm, I have video one uploading, and it should be... Oh, it's going to be ready to go in, like, minutes. In fact, I'm probably going to have to stop recording to just go and post it, but... Um... Yeah. Has anyone guessed the pose yet? Not that... I mean, it's this is going to be tomorrow relative to me, so I don't know if anyone's replied with guesses for the pose... Um, but if anyone does guess it, or if anyone has guessed it, um, you get to pick the next next thing I draw. We'll make it a little mini contest. It's not like it's a hard thing to guess, but it is kind of... It's not Guilty Gear related. It's kind of jam related, though. We'll put it like that. Um, in today's video, we're going to try to get to color. Um, I don't exactly know how far we're actually going to... I should do this on a new layer, geez. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually get to that in this video, but in the next hour, we will hopefully get either really into color or close enough to it that it won't be another hour of video doing the actual color. Yep, totally erasing that hand, that, that thumb. Cause it's not, it was not working for me at all. You know, the thumb, the thumb, it's gonna be a, a very weird thumb pose almost. Because it's not, it's it's predominantly going to be in shadow, because it's it's going to be the bottom plane of the thumb, and we're going to have just a little bit of the side of the hand uh, visible, and then we're gonna we're gonna probably have to shorten up this middle finger, but probably not by a lot, and then it's it's just reshaping what the what the hands are just a little bit here and there. In fact, the thumb, her thumb is really bugging me now. This happens to me a lot. Because like I said in a previous video, I am my own worst critic. So, I I will absolutely, like when this is done and it's up, and if I come back to this even in a couple days, I will see every single little thing I got wrong. And then I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll just move on. Because I could sit there and just sit there and just noodle something forever trying to get it quote unquote right and it's like you know what I'll, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna learn from these mistakes and move on because I can't sit there and draw the same thing just to sit there working on the same thing just forever to get it to get it right when like even if I did that I'd end up like not liking it after after, you know, an amount of time anyways. And I mean the pose the pose I'm referencing, it's like it's pretty obvious where I'm where I'm grabbing it from if you if you can just puzzle out the tiny bit of puzzle it is.
Oh. I did eat a lot of Italian food for dinner from this really great Italian place near me. It's a really great Italian place. That's one of those places I wish I'd been going to for years, but didn't know about for one reason or another. Or didn't think to look for it for one reason or another. Called the Villa in East Point. And it's like... Yeah, I just... <laughs> It's just a place I haven't, a place I never went to when I was young for various reasons, or like I never went to during college because I was poor. It's like now I kind of have a little, like I'm not rich by any means, but I have just a little cash that can be a little expendable income. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, oh, now I can actually go to places and get food at places I've never been before. And be a little more adventurous. adventurous with my eating which I am a pretty adventurous eater so it's like oh now I can actually go to these places and enjoy these foods I wish I could have been enjoying like like 20 years ago <laughs> well not that far that, that'd be like 11 age 11 but yeah like maybe 10 years ago I wish I was going to these places So that would be her shoulder. Her that'd be her skin on her shoulder. So we are gonna, gonna lighten that up just a little bit. And then, oh yeah, her sleeves are attached now, as I said before. So we're gonna put a little bit of dark on that. It's a very, it's actually a very difficult hand position to do. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay with it. Put some little highlights on there and we're gonna go in, make sure it's thinned down a bit. It might be liquefied a little later on. I think I wanna shrink down her head as well. That's on my list of things to do. Like shrink it down just a little bit because it's like it just seems really big on her body right now. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do this as our highlight. Yep, that's all her that's all skin. I did cut I did cut the music this time because I was I was starting to go crazy just hearing the same like just hear just hearing the same like two or three songs just repeating over and over and over again. Um Okay, I think I see how this goes. Yeah, it's like I I'm using her official art as reference, so it's like I don't exactly know everything going on with her with her clothing right now. Because it's obviously, like, her her in-game model, I can't view it very well because it's only in, like, the one trailer that's been released. So I have to make some assumptions as to what I'm actually drawing. So I think... I, I can see that her neck piece is really... is actually thicker than that. Well, no. And I think it does... it like It's like a, a cross. It, like, X's over itself. I think is how it's going. And then these like these like shoulder strap parts merge into her the cuffs. And then it's gonna be red right there. So we can actually go in and black these out. 
And again, I think I think she has some sort of thing above her above her breasts that's like a, a strap. Um It could be an opening though in the dress. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Cuz I don't I don't know if she still has the uh the really Chinese dress style um going on for her top. So I'm just going to make assumptions as I go here. I mean, I they're probably going to be wrong, but I'm going to make them anyways. And then above this above the uh the locks, the the locks the uh, the buckles on her her bicep she has uh some of the reds poking through we're gonna go like make that really look like it's folded okay and then this these are mechanically square and they're, they're actually gonna be oh they're kind of yellowy so it's like um, There, this is actually really just weird design on these buckles. It, it, it yeah, it's ser she's seriously got a weird, some weird elements to her design that are just weird. Like I said last time, um, people that want to cosplay Guilty Gear, I, I, I totally feel for you, cause man, do these characters have some crazy ass designs with like lots of little, just little oddities everywhere in their in their design. Well, the belts are brown actually on this. I think her dress is going to be marked, markably different than, um, markedly different than her other parts, and then her hair should absolutely be darker than the dress. And her skin should be lighter than the dress, just a little bit, but that's still, I don't want to make that shoulder too light to drown out the hand. And then we're going to just pop a little... Pop a little this brown in here. Brown. This gray. Yeah, we're in brown already, everyone. You can't see it, but we're in brown. Trust me. No, uh, pop some of that gray in there. So on her cuffs, I have no idea how to draw them, because both of her hands are in positions where we're seeing down, down inside the cuffs of her sleeves, more than actually seeing the sleeves themselves. So I think I'm just going to keep them flat red for the time being, because they're very much, um, like I can't get a lot of the detail off them. I think there's a, there's a black or a black trim to them though so I think sorry I don't want to get that close to the mic grab my mouse here and look around this piece of art okay yeah they definitely have a black trim oh okay I see what's going on 
So they actually have a very, very pronounced black trim. See, I have the image zoomed in a little, so I didn't, I didn't notice that on the uh, her upraised arm. So it's actually this is gonna be. It's all gonna be in black. The inside is like a purple almost, like a dark red. So I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm actually gonna color in the inside as much. And um, I'm I'm following the one thing I'm following from her Guilty Gear XX drawing is the uh, the cuffs she has underneath. Um, right here and right here. I'm just doing them as as if she's wearing black, um, just black sleeves that don't actually touch her hands. Yeah, I don't have a lot to talk about right now. Just trying to get this this more done. Aside from being very full of good Italian food. It's sort of become a hobby of mine to go to various places near me to uh, try them out. Just go, I, I know it sounds weird to say that, but go like going to restaurants is not the hobby. Going to new restaurants is the hobby, where it's like I see a place and it's like, oh, that's been, that's been there for a while, or oh, that just opened up, and it's like I want to go there and try it, regardless of what it is. Pretty much the only food I won't eat is like seafood, but it's like I can go. I I've been doing that as my hobby for the past couple years, and I used to do it with my brother a lot, but he's, he's being a doof and not not going not go in the restaurants with me anymore um well in all fairness today he mentioned he had a party to go to so i'll excuse today but yeah it's it's something where it's like we used to do it as like a thursday night ritual but now it's like lately it's been we just haven't been going places and i've been doing i've been going places on my own I think if I had more of a follower base, I'd make it like an actual video series. Southeast Michigan's greatest restaurants. Or at the very least, I should... Like, I have my Instagram started, but it's parked. So I could, at the very least, um... Now, I don't have any pictures up, is the thing. So I could start doing, like, the pictures of food with hipster filters on it. Like everybody does with their Instagrams. I mean, my Tumblr is basically that. But uh, I could do it for real on Instagram. So, like I said, she has these larger black cuffs. Um, and I'm sort, I am sort of gonna do them like they're, you know, much more stylized on the side. And like that's obviously not an accurate representation of a shirt cuff, but uh, it'll, it'll do. And likewise, this is at the edge, so it's like, it's another one of those things like in my last picture when I did, like the character's legs were just a really quick, really quick throw down of tone. That's what this kind of is too. Yeah, mind, mind the, mind the cut, mind the jump. Um, 
I had to go do something. I totally have lost the plot on what I was talking about. It's probably for the best, though, really, when you... When you think about it, because I was probably not talking about anything. Um, so that was the 20-minute mark. I'm going to try to power through this now. She also, it looks like her... Yeah, let me get the reference back up. Um, it also looks like this, this band on her chest... It's, it either goes like this and then over, um, or it's just across. It's... Mm, it's really hard to make out. <laughs> I mean, if I were to make the assumption, because this is a Chinese dress style thing, it would... Oh, I see what's happening. I think we go like this. I think it's actually like that open neck thing, and then it comes down like this. And this is actually going to be... Okay, it's like, I think this is actually the same brown. Well, no. No, I think it's black. I think it's just the, the way it's it's shaded. It's sort of brownish. Okay, I think I see what I've got. What's going on here? Yeah, it's it's hard to do this with with very little actual character reference. Um Yeah, just really really tricky right now. It's like the whole thing about Elfelt's new costume is the the main reason I'm not doing that is because all I have is one blurry image that's taken from a lope test or something. So it's like, oh, well, that'd be kind of difficult to work with. Be a challenge for sure, and I like challenges. But it might be impossible at this point. Now you may be asking yourself, if I'm going to do this in color, why am I spending so much time on this grayscale? Well, for me, personally, I, I usually do the color in an overlay layer whenever I do um, color stuff at least at first because it it just quickens up quickens up filling in the sort of um, filling everything in it's it's not well it, it's the way I'm comfortable doing things with color because <laughs> I could just go straight into red on this but um, I really want to make sure I get just get the the tones correct because if I have the tones correct the colors are just colors at that point and I you know I want it readable as to what's going on as well I may go back in and put that that tie in there but this is where her her dress is sort of it's it's split on the side and she has those like white under there's like the white under um, skirt. And on this version of her, it looks like there's sort of tassely ties down here. But um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna hassle with them in all honesty. Now we got the poof balls. Which I think are going to be, are actually going to be part of like a tie to her dress's neck piece, maybe. It's just that the angle I'm looking at, I, looking at them at, it's uh, it's hard to tell. I hope everyone's getting like good insight into the artistic process here, at least my artistic process, which I think is not a bad artistic process. It's not the best artistic process, but it's not a bad artistic process, at least in my own, my own opinion of myself. Um. <laughs> Let's just go super arrogant on that. Um, or the, I should say the artistic process while working from reference. Um, while trying to get like accuracy, a, like costume accuracy out of that reference because it's like, it's very, it's actually very hard to make out a lot of details off of her current, or her, her, 
her costume as it stands because I don't have the character model. And if I had the character model, the in-game model, this would be a lot easier because I could just reference that model. And, um... I like just have, like, the game open and paused with her, her character just standing there, and I'd be able to really work with it um, and get it as right as I could. Anyone figure out the pose yet? I'm going back to my other reference, the, the reference of the pose, to get this. And I actually think the pinky is going to be more forward. Whenever I work from, like, work from a uh, reference, I don't actually do it super accurately. I will point that out. Like, accuracy is fine, and I'm not going to knock people who are who try to draw for accuracy. Um, and I, I do try to be, you know, mostly accurate, but it's not, I'm not beholden to the references, the reference as, um, as writ. I use it more for, um, guidelines. It's guidelines. It's not rules. It's guidelines for me. And I've always sort of taken it as such. Now, actually, in my reference, the care the the reference picture's hand goes off the bottom of the picture. So that's another thing. Is like reference can only take you so far sometimes. Um. I mm, I think I'm actually going to take out her thumb. This is another thing. You can depart from your reference as well. In the picture I was referencing, uh, the, the person in this pose, their thumb was out. So I think I'm actually going to go in and just take out that thumb. Just because it's it's it, it was too distracting for me, personally. Now this hand is actually the the hand that's not going to get as much back and forth, like especially compared to the hand above, because it's going to be at the bottom of the page. <clears throat> we just need to make sure it doesn't look too terrible. I'm going to go, like, one of the things you can do when you're still working in Grayscale, when you have, or just working in general, when you have no line work to worry about, you can actually go in and carve around your shapes with the background, whatever your background is. I do that, I tend to do that a lot too, because it's like, I could sit here and, and just, like, really try to line out that hand, but it's like, without the line work, I could just go in and, um... sort of carve out what I need to carve out on it. That would be her wrist. That's the top of her cuff. Go in here and just hit that with that. Almost almost ready for color. I am kind of trying to rush this a little too. Just so I can do this in under, um, in about two hours, in two videos. Because it's gonna be today's video, or yesterday's video, it's today for me. But yesterday's video would be Saturday, and this is going to be Sunday, and I do really want this all done in two days. So it's also a bit of a speed challenge challenge for me to do this in, in you know, two days. Yeah, so I would consider this to be a, or I'm going to try to make this a two-hour piece rather than the five hour piece my previous one was. And you're gonna find, and, and people that are gonna watch these videos a lot, people that watch these videos a lot, you're gonna find that I do try to get things done as fast as possible more than anything. Even if it means I leave like a quote unquote inaccuracy behind, um, or if I leave like an edge sloppy, or if I leave something undone or, or leave um, construction lines in a piece it's because I'm trying to get things done 
because I think I think getting things done are getting things done is the most important aspect of just doing art is just get it done because it's like I could sit there like I mentioned before I could just sit there and noodle on something for hours and hours and hours and hours go back and forth back and forth back and forth but it's not gonna it's not gonna mean anything to me personally because in a in days or weeks or a month or however long I'm gonna look back on a piece of art and I'm gonna see every single mistake in that piece and it's just gonna annoy me to no end looking at it and it's like I might as well not like not like hassle myself or put a lot of worry into doing like getting something done super 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 quick or I mean super 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 accurate if in like a month I'm just gonna look back and hate it Um, you know what? I want her her sleeve in that hand is way, way in front of her. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I really do I really do think just getting artwork getting artwork done is is more important than hassling over accuracy or or detail or whatever because in in a month's time I'm just gonna I'm just going to be slagging on this and being like, man, did I suck a month ago? And that's been, that's basically been my entire career has just been me like going back and looking at a piece and like, man, was I ever wrong on those decisions? Um, the other thing for this one is I'm not going to do an actual background. And I think I mentioned that before. So I think our grayscale is pretty much done. Um, What's next is we're going to stamp this in a layer and we're going to go into the very handy liquify tool because her hand over here to me is a little small and her head's a little big. I think that hand's a little fine. Um, a little fine or it's just fine as it is. I may fix some. Let me look at that shading a little later. But Damn it, Photoshop. Off-click Photoshop, which means picking up my mouse and then, or have it sitting. Photoshop, okay. <laughs> so I think the only thing about her face that really needs tweaking is I, like I don't want her fat, <laughs> but we're, like I mentioned, we're gonna shrink it just a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, that's maxed out. Crap. Um, ugh. I may have to actually do a transform on her face, but I can get the, um, I can get her hand bloated up nicely here. Um, yeah, that finger is really tiny. Look at it. It's tiny. Okay. Um, I actually think that maybe fixed her head a bit as well. Because <laughs> the whole thing is her hand is very close to her head. And that's sort of a dead giveaway. Like, your, your hand is about as big. Like, I know it's going to muffle my voice, but... The, the bottom of your hand to the tip of your, to the your brow to to your hairline is about the length of your like that's the length of your hand so if you look this hand and her head are about the same this hand I think because of its its position is maybe a little tiny looking but um no you know what? we are gonna go we're gonna go on this layer and we're we're gonna go back and liquefy because I think I can pull I can pull her features down just a little bit and we should whoops don't need to make her look like an alien I think we pull things down a little bit we'll be fine I do want to keep her face pretty thin it's just we gotta do a little little pull in I think and we'll be good 
Yeah. It's, see, it's just little. Like you don't need a lot to fix fix things as well because you just need a little, and it goes a long way. Okay. <laughs> here, here is the color. So in my timing, I've got about 15 minutes to do this. So we're going to try to do it right the first time and probably fail. We're going to start by just filling in the red because her, her dress is red, sort of her character's color. We're going to fill in these reds. I can be a little on the looser side with some of this because this is our basically our first color. Now the difference between over, overlay is that, um, oops, color is that, and soft light is that. I generally start with overlay, or I generally use overlay, but those are your three colors that can be used, or three uh, layer modes that can be used for throwing in overlay colors on top of a grayscale. And because this is basically our first color, we can be a little sloppy around the edges. And it's actually probably a good thing to be a little loose around the edges because um, it'll at least close the edges off. Now, I'm treating this as going fast, more than accurate. So as I go through this, um, I am going to do more color work. Like, I'm just not going to leave these flats in here as my color work. I, I am going to go in and, and work on it, just work on it as I would with painting painting other stuff. But um, the key thing here is just go fast. It's just get, like I said, we're, we're doing this as a two-hour painting. Um, two hour-ish I mean I'm not I'm not super beholding to that line to that amount of time but yeah two hour-ish painting so we generally are gonna work um, so yeah we, we gotta go fast we gotta pull a Sanic now skin tone um, for her we're gonna start within the with that skin tone, should be fine as our starter skin tone. Now, skin tone, her skin tone, despite the fact that, like, in her official artwork, it doesn't work on it really because it's it's anime, it's you know animated, it's anime, it's really flat. Um, for this skin, her skin, I am going to take the most time on. But um, I am actually going to work on her dress first. Her dress and her her accessories, and probably her hair. I'm going to be doing first, because for me, I want I generally want a person's skin, regardless of who I'm drawing, to look very alive, and to have very much the the feeling of, the colors that skin has. That's also it's also regardless of ethnicity. Um, I try to just make people look like they have very alive skin. That's why I have a bajillion. Like this isn't even the whole palette being shown. That's my that's my skin palette. That's and that's not even like all of the skin colors. Um, I found this is like half of a a chunk of swatches for skin color that I I found online and I just brought in the Photoshop one at a time one day by sample. It was from an image. I sampled the image and just made all of these swatches for skin color and it's like that's that's about half of it I mean, that's more orange her her tassels are more orange so we're gonna put more orange on there as is whatever the hell this is 
<laughs> Seriously, I actually... I actually don't know what this is on her hip. Oh, she might have... She might have, a, like, a ribbon, because her, her old character... Oh, no, it's not her... It's not, like, a ribbon. Um, that's her sleeve in the old character art. She has some type of fur thing down here. But I actually don't know what it is, because it's on her far side. But we're putting it in, because it's in the artwork. Um, yeah, so skin tone, it's... It's generally one of those things I spend a lot of time on. I work on a lot because it's just such a... It's like hands, feet, faces. It's just such a killer thing that if you get it wrong... Or, like, if you get it unconvincing. Let's not say get it wrong anymore. Unconvincing is more how I view this. Because, yeah, it's not, about, it's not about right and wrong when it comes to artwork. It's, it really is... It really is about convincingness rather than right or wrong when you're doing art. So, we, like, and her colors to me look very dead like this. And that's the only problem I have with doing the overlay thing first is um, you end up with some very dead, flat colors. Now what we're going to be doing as we go forward with this is we're going to be putting on... We're going to be putting in more color as we go. We're going to be putting in a light... We're going to be putting in light and dark, light and shadow as colors as we go. But we're also going to liven up her... Especially her face. We're definitely going to liven up her face and do some... Like her hair is predominantly brown, but we are going to liven up her hair as well. And we're also going to have light be a factor in this. Um, not, <laughs> we're not going to be painters with light. Thomas Kincaid can bite me. So, <laughs> but we are going to take light into consideration when, uh, when doing this. Thomas Kincaid can bite me. Impressionism, impressionists, uh, are, are totally fine. Thomas Kincaid, Thomas Kincaid can bite me. I'm not even going to be... I'm not even going to be ecumenical about that. Just He can bite me. Just right, right on my butt. Just open up, chomp down, just go for it, Thomas Kincaid. Anyone that knows Thomas Kincaid will, prob will either be, oh, I really like his calendars. They look good in my bathroom. Or they're going to be, or they're going to be like, yeah, James, I agree with you totally on that. Now, like, that little hairiness right there on the edge of her sleeve, uh, when I do the background, I'm probably going to mask it off. Like, that's the only thing that's going to take me more than the two hours, I think. I mean, color going back and forth, because we're at about the 20, like, my <laughs> my requirement has about 20 minutes left. So, my time requirement has about 20 minutes left. So, like, that right there, um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to worry about getting my flats in and then when I do uh, clean up and background work because that'll that'll take me a bit more time than what I've got here I'll worry about like cleaning up the, the edges on this I know I said I wasn't gonna put it in the background I don't mean a real background I'm gonna be doing the um, miscellaneous miscellaneous shapes background miscellaneous tones background I think that's everything. Yep. So, new layer. First things first is her dress, as I said. Now, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using what I, what in my head I call my standard lighting setup, and that is from the top we're going to be starting with um, we're going to be starting with this this sort of desaturated yellow light as our top light. And we're going to go in and we're going to start putting this in. Um, do I want it overlaid? 
Mm. And we're just going to start putting this uh, this yellow in up here. Now there's going to be a lot of back and forth with this and um and getting it to look correct or look convincing. So um bear with me on that. But because we're using the yellow on the on the lights, we're going to be using a purple on our darks. In fact, it's going to be the purple that's over here. And that'll hopefully, if I if I did my color theory my color theory is correct um, we will hopefully have a good looking bit of light and dark and then what I can do is I can tinker with it a bit and go in and maybe make the yellow more yellow or the purple more or more purple or less purple and then um, And then that'll give us our uh, like our, our our light and then our dark. Now reflected light, um, I tend to pick a like um, it's not a split complement. I don't know what the term would be, but for my reflected light, we're gonna pick this green up. We're just gonna lay this green in, and and all the places where like we'd get a little bit of that. But also we're we're gonna take this yellow that's right here, and we're gonna put it on there a little, and just put it right in there a little bit, because that's that yellow. And then that yellow we can we can just instantly come over here and pop that in the hair a bit. But yeah, normally I don't do the reflected light. Um, right now I'm just pointing out that reflected light. I tend to pick something that's in the, uh, like in the third point of the triangle there so our dark we're going to come in we're going to start putting this purple in as our shadow it's okay if I paint over the hands a little bit because the hands are going to get like this is probably not going to be the two hour drawing I was hoping <laughs> in all honesty because um Because I ha I actually have some hands to deal with that I want to make sure look good or convincing and um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a little rough getting that all together in the next whoops in the next twenty minutes well no twenty fifty ten minutes sorry. I forgot I stopped the video in the middle there. So yeah, this is our this is our shadow, and now we can grab our. I'm gonna make it desaturated more than anything now. I think. A reflected light it's some anonymous green light source that's that's coming from the bottom here it's gonna be hitting this a little bit as well and I'm using I'm using the anonymous green the anonymous green light source sort of as a it's like I don't know where it's coming from I just know it's there <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's just there. Now even though I'm using this purple for our darks, we are gonna do like a little hit, we are gonna hit this with black in places where it needs to get darker, darker than it already is. So um, we are going to do that. We are gonna 
technically break a rule of using color and end up using black. But I've mentioned before that I actually think using black and white are totally legitimate um, legitimate things you can do. Now, I don't actually know what the material is for her, like the black parts of her cuffs. I mean, I, I kind of want to treat it like leather, but I know that wouldn't be correct. Um, so yeah, we're gonna tap this in. Now I also don't want to ruin the local color. If I can drop another art term, the local color of these things. I want her dress. I want her dress, despite it being, um, despite her dress being red, or I mean, despite putting these purples and yellows in, I still want her dress to read as red. So I do. I do still want um, her her color to come through, and that's that's sort of the hard part. And I think it's the most difficult part about using using color is, whoops, the most difficult part, at least for me, about using color is is like trying to preserve the the local color with this like using actually using the lighting. It's a color color is just goddamn difficult to do. Like I'm, I'm going through it, and I'm going through it, and I'm trying to do um, the the lo like local color and light, and having the shadows be you know the complement of the the light. But it's always, it's always like, it's always something I could use more practice on. So now we're going to be doing her skin tone, I think. Um, oh, let's do let's do one more thing. We're going to put a little on that to pop it forward a bit. I forgot to put the tone, the purple on here. Now there there is a method that you can use to get poofy things looking extremely poofy in Photoshop. Um, I'm just not going to do it here. I'm going to actually, one of the things I like painting are wolves. So I'm going to actually save getting poofy and furry things done, I think, for a wolf drawing. And um, everyone out there who uses Photoshop is probably going to be dreading, like, don't be a smudge painting, don't be a smudge painting. But it is in part, not in total, using the smudge tool. <laughs> Some people really hate that thing for, for understandable reasons. It's one of those tools that... Um, how I meant, like how I mentioned the uh, people not liking Photoshop for for like the amateurish people getting in Photoshop, um, and essentially like ruining the program <laughs> at one point because they had like the amateurish airbrush painting and stuff. The smudge tool is um, one of those tools that's like that, where it's like, yeah, this was kind of stigmatized by that. But it, it's definitely another resource a person can use to do this artwork. Oh, I forgot her... Her sleeves in her old artwork definitely look leathery. Leather's pretty much um, a single heart highlight. No shadows, really. I mean, I could... I mean, I'm going to put a tiny bit in there just so you know it's the the shadow side. But um, for the most part, yeah, it's it's single heart highlight is leather. I'm not doing super leather here, but like pleathery leather here. But we're going to just put a tiny, tiny squiggle as our highlight here. grab the red put a little reflective of that red on there you know really I think on this sleeve though I should it should be red just partially on it more than anything and then down here we're gonna, we're gonna grab the red and put that on top for a bit and take the yellow and go right back over that with the yellow but yeah that's that's edge of drawing I don't really care about edge of drawing okay 
Now I'm probably getting to the point where I'm really rushing. So we're at the 55 minute mark. Now Jam's eyes are brown, so we're gonna grab the brown of her hair and start just, we're gonna put the brown in. Go back and whoopsie. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna go back grab the black like I said black I'm, I still think black is legitimate even when you're working with color um, I'm probably I'm probably gonna consider going back in to her her shirt even her her dress and and putting black on there I'm actually glad I didn't do a strict time limit on this. Like, say, I have to do it in two hours and it's done. Because um, <laughs> it's going to be a little more in two hours, I think. So, first step to... First step to doing a face. Um, let's grab just the tiniest bit of blue. Eyes are generally cool, so we'll put a tiny bit of blue in there. And then we'll grab white. And we'll grab our purple, because you put a little purple on top because... Oh, that's a bad, that wasn't bad right there. I'm putting a little purple on there because your eyelids do cast a shadow, do have a shadow. I don't know if it's a cast shadow, but they do make your eyes go into shadow a bit. So, um, first things first. We are going to do lots of red on her cheeks. It's always the first thing, and on her nose. You want lots and lots of red in the places where basically the blood is near the surface. So we're gonna do that on, her, on that. We're gonna put a little red on her chin. Now, she's also got red reflecting from her dress. Oh, that's a little heavy. Um, it's actually kind of convenient, she's all red. <laughs> so we're gonna get lots and lots of lividity in her skin tone here. I'm basically going over her her whole face in red, but I'm going to make sure it's very red around her nose and in her cheeks. Next up, we take our light color and we're going to start tapping it in. Tapping it in where we know there's going to be light. Top of the nose. Um, I've already got it sort of in her, in her eyes already, so it's definitely going to be here. And then like the... Her, her cheeks are definitely going to get the get this thrown in here. Even though know, she's got kind of a cutie, a, a, a like weird cute thing going on with her mouth, we still get the the highlight on the lower lips, and then on her chin. And then, yeah, this side, this whole side I said was going to be a sort of highlight like that. Now we take our purple. We go in here and we do our shadows. Same way we did everywhere else. And I don't really care that I'm going to be over... We're going to be overdoing it a little bit because we're going to be going over her skin a lot. Because skin, when you color it in, has so... Like, skin has so many just layers of color regardless of your ethnicity that... At least in paint, in terms of painting skin... It just has a lot of a lot of like layers of color going on. Not it's not just straight peach or um, peach or brown or what what have you. It's 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 a lot. There's a lot going on in skin. Grab our red again. Okay. 
Drop a purple for her upper lip. This is where reference isn't going to save me. Because <laughs> the reference I'm working with was actually black and white. I have to make this all up out of my head. So then we're going to go back and we're going to grab the red of her dress. And we're going to pop more of it back on her eyes. And we're definitely going to put some of this red on the bottom of her nose. Even though I did a horrible job shaping these nostrils. Um, she's going to grab a different purple for these. Um, I do want this red to basically be the underside of her nose. Now we grab our shadow purple and it's going to hopefully turn out okay. Because we want our shadow purple on this side a bit. And like I said, we're we're all about with skin tone. It's all about making sure it's livid. <laughs> Lividity is like the perfect word to describe how I want my skin tones. We pull back. It's getting there. It's getting there. Um, now we can start sampling. Start painting it in a bit more. And generally speaking, um, you don't, you want the like tip of the nose, for me at least, I always want it to be like the hottest. Not always, but most of the time I try to make it like the hottest of the, the lights. And I mean, I will like, okay, there are exceptions to that. Like the chin, you put, you put the dot on the chin, dot on the chin to make it pop more. And generally it's like, yeah, that's where all the popping is going to be is on those, um, on those high points on the face. So we want the red again to put right here and on the bottom of her chin. So also help us shape the chin a bit better. We can come and grab this black. Cause I think the collar on her dress is actually thicker than I had it. Um, well, new dress is thicker than I had it. Shade in that purple. Alrighty. That's looking pretty good. We're gonna grab, we're just gonna put a little bit like that out there. And then I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of the shadow and put it into the bridge of the nose. Cause the bridge of, whoops. The bridge of the nose is in shadow, generally. And we're gonna go back. <laughs> we're gonna go back cause I, I screwed up a grab on my, okay, there we go. Wait, yeah, we'll do that. Because I screwed up a, a grab on my um, eyedropper. I do that all the time. <laughs> Especially when I'm, I'm trying to be quick. My oh, that's past. we're past the two hour mark. I failed the time limit. But that's okay. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the record. But this is still going to be Sunday's video. I'm just going to put it up as two videos. Just for um, sanity's sake. We're going to make it a two video Sunday for drawing. So, uh, yep, we'll flip the record and I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll like, I shouldn't have to do a whole, <laughs> I shouldn't have to do a whole sign off. Cause I mean, all you're going to do is flip to the next video. So, uh, I'll see you guys there.